from the Institute for Frontier Materials with a thesis titled, Development of New Organic Ionic Plastic Crystals. Would you please welcome Azra Surja. Let me tell you a true story. Back in 2019, a lady was flying from Beijing to Melbourne. Like most people on long flights, she was wearing her headphones. So, when the flight took off, she was listening to the music and she fell asleep. And in mid-flight, her headphones just exploded, burning her face. So she immediately threw the burning headphones onto the floor with sparks shooting everywhere. Can you imagine being mid-flight and only to be woken up by your headphones blowing up on your face? <laughs> or even to be a passenger and see a fire on a plane? Anyway, the investigation concluded that it was the battery which had caused the fire in her headphones. Precisely, the electrolyte of the battery. Electrolyte is one of the main components in a battery where it acts as a medium to conduct ions. Nowadays, in almost every batteries, we use extremely flammable, toxic liquids as these electrolytes. But what if these flammable liquids can be replaced by a solid? That's where my PhD comes in. I am developing safer, non-flammable, solid electrolytes. Yes, you heard me right. They are solids, not liquids. So you can possibly eliminate the battery leakage problems too. How cool is that? These new materials, we call them as organic ionic plastic crystals, which are made up of cations and anions. In other words, positive and negative ions. With the choice of these ions, the properties are easily tunable in nature. I studied different chemical structures of these cations and anions combinations to develop high-performance solid electrolytes. I have introduced an oxygen atom into my cationic structure to see if I could enhance the electrolyte properties. I also dig into deep to see how these ions have been arranged in their crystal structure so you could fine tune the properties to get the best results. Once these electrolytes have been developed, I do the testing for batteries to see how stable they are and how conductive they can be. So, by optimizing the properties of these new solid electrolytes, my PhD work will take as one step closer towards a safer and long-lasting battery technology where you wouldn't have to see your headphones or any other electronic device powered by batteries bursting into flames. 